Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is a new one in our series, Is It Worth It? And we discuss the Burberry trench coat. As you may know, we ranked the trench coat to be one of the 10 must-have garments every gentleman should have, and you can learn more about it in our video here. We also filmed an in-depth trench coat guide where we talk about the hallmarks, characteristics, the history, and everything you want to know about a trench coat. Today's video is really just about the Burberry trench coat, and we discuss whether it's worth it or if you should invest your money in another brand. If you like this Is It Worth It video, we'll do more like that, maybe about the Mont Blanc Meisterstück fountain pen or the Gucci loafers or any other iconic menswear item that we often hear about but not sure whether it's really worth the money. All right, time to talk about Burberry. Thomas Burberry wasn't quite the inventor of the trench coat, but his name became synonymous and he popularized it. And therefore today, if people think about a trench coat, the first thing that comes to mind is a Burberry trench coat. The company has been making trench coats for over 150 years. They've been around since 1856, and it's just an iconic garment. It became popular because just like many other overcoats, it was a military garment. And there was a surplus after World War II, and so they circulated in public, and they became well-known for every man and woman on the planet. Over the years, Burberry evolved, and today it's much more of a lifestyle brand that you can see on catwalks and at fashion shows, and not so much the original Burberry brand anymore that used to make a trench coat. Over the years, the trench coats have changed, so let's look at whether a new trench coat from Burberry is worth it today. The classic Burberry double-pressed trench coat today costs $1,895 on the Burberry website. Yes, you should definitely go with the double-breasted version because that's the original. They also have single-breasted ones, but I suggest not to use those, and you can learn why here in this trench coat guide video. The current heritage models they offer have the typical Nova check. They also added it underneath the collar, which looks nice if you like it popped up, but also the lining is Novacek. Novacek is a name for a specific tartan that is usually associated with Burberry, although it's also imitated by other companies. Unlike in previous years, this trench coat is made in England as the original one, and it is made out of 100% cotton gabardine, which is a fabric Thomas Burberry invented, or at least became famous and well known for, and it's the ideal material you want for a trench coat. Less expensive versions contain polyester in various amounts, but 100% cotton is the highest quality you can get. Even though the lining is made out of 100% cotton, the sleeves unfortunately are just made of viscose, which is a really inexpensive artificial fiber made of cellulose. The great thing about a modern Burberry trench coat is that it comes in four lengths as well as four fit styles. Now the fit of all Burberry trench coats is slimmer than it used to be. It's simply an adaptation to modern times, which in my opinion is not a bad thing because you want a trim look that flatters your body line. The relaxed fit is definitely the widest fit they offer and it's made for layering. So if you wear jackets underneath a lot, maybe a sweater or a cardigan, this is the fit you should get. The classic fit is more tapered in the waist, yet you can still wear a suit jacket underneath of it. The slim fit is the slimmest fit they offer, and it's not meant to be worn with something underneath, but it creates a very nice V-shape. Last but not least, there's a tailored fit. The tailored fit is somewhere between a classic fit and a slim fit. In terms of length, the original trench coat was quite long and ranged from ankle length all the way up to knee length. Today, Burberry's lengths are much shorter, with short being just ever so slightly longer than in a jacket, medium being what I would call short, and long being what I would call medium. Even their extra long version just reaches the knee, and in my opinion, it's a classic length for a trench coat. And if you want a classic look, I suggest to go with a relaxed fit extra long. The armholes on modern Burberry trench coats are smaller than on the old ones, which is nice because it allows for a better range of movement. While the original trench coat had raglan sleeves and you can still get it from Burberry, most of them are in a more classic sleeve, which means the sleeve is set in without a raglan. Personally, I own both styles and I like them. If I would just get one trench coat, I'll probably opt for the raglan simply because it's a traditional choice. So is it worth to get the Burberry trench coat? Every gentleman should have a trench coat, but it doesn't necessarily have to be Burberry. Fortunately, it won't go out of style, and Burberry is associated with the original. Even though almost $1,900 for a cotton overcoat is quite a bit of money, you should consider the cost per wear, as this garment can be worn in every transitional season between fall, winter, and spring, summer. Sometimes they even come with a liner, which extends the range of when you can wear it. 
Overall, if you want an original length Burberry trench coat, the new model is not worth your money because it's simply not long enough. On the other hand, if you want a flattering fit and you want to choose between the different lengths and the fits, and if you have the money, it's definitely worth it. It's a good investment, it won't go out of style, and you won't regret your purchase. Just make sure you get a camel or khaki color, which is the original. At least it's your first trench coat. If you have multiple ones, you can also go with maybe a navy or a black like the one I'm wearing here, which is more advantageous when you travel, simply because it doesn't stain as easily. Definitely also make sure you get the 100% cotton version that is made in England because it's of a higher quality than other models you can find from them. In terms of the model, I suggest you get the Westminster Extra Long Heritage because that's the closest one, but still has a very attractive fit. Now, if $1,900 are simply too much for you, I hear you. Gladly, there is a wonderful option, which is vintage Burberry trench coats, and there are lots of them out there. So are vintage Burberry trench coats worth it? Yes, absolutely. No matter your budget, everyone can afford that one. The problem is, fit can vary hugely. You can find some very big ones that are more like sack style, or some more contemporary fitted ones because they're not as old. Because of that, I suggest you try them on. You can find them at flea markets or maybe on eBay. Just make sure you're able to return them. As always, it pays to know the measurements of the garment as well as your own, so you find something that fits. Make sure you get a made in England model, and if you want to compromise, you can get maybe a composition with 70% cotton and 30% polyester, or something in that range. Ideally, you want 100% cotton. Price-wise, they go from anywhere between $100 and $400, depending on the condition. I'd always go for a little higher condition, because otherwise, you have something with worn-out edges, maybe the buckles are worn out, and if you get something that's a little nicer, it's better. Bear in mind, you can always exchange buckles and buttons, just like I did here, which really helps to create a different look for your trench coat. So what you have today is a Burberry trench coat worth it, new, it is not worth it if you want the original length and the original width and fullness. However, if you want a modern fit and if you have the money, it's definitely worth it. If you go with a vintage trench coat, it is definitely worth it because it will never go out of style. You can always wear it, the cost per wear is low, and it's just a classic staple that every man should have. Personally, I have three different trench coats. The first one I bought was a non-Burberry one, and it had a typical khaki color, but once I got it, I realized, oh, it lacks certain features. Next up, I got the black trench coat I'm wearing here right now. I actually was able to find it at Rudolf Buffet, which is a second-hand store. It's really nice in Hamburg, and I was only able to afford it at the time. It cost, I think, 200 bucks, because I had just made money selling my Goyard suitcases. To learn more about that story, please check out this link here. I was okay with the black because I already had the khaki color and I really like the fit of this trench coat. It has a nice white overlap, the armholes are slim, the sleeve length was right, and it just looked really, really dapper on me. Third trench coat is the one you can see here. It's the most traditional one. It has the widest cut. It also has the raglan sleeves, and it already came with some really nice buttons that I just left on there simply because I liked it. It also has the storm hooks, the latches, and it comes with the detachable green wool liner. I think this one is buttoned in. Sometimes you can also find some that are zipped in, but I think button is more original. I'm wearing this black trench coat with green driving gloves from Fur Belvedere. It's paired with a simple dress shirt, green striped with cufflinks from Fur Belvedere. Shirt is from Zinniskalki in Milan. My tie is a two-tone cognac and charcoal silk knit tie, likewise from Fur Belvedere. My pants are contrasting, and I chose a slight tan corduroy from Polo Ralph Lauren. I pair it with a pair of boots in a very dark, dark brown color, which is almost black. It has blue inserts, a little contrasting and fun. The socks are likewise from Fur Belvedere in brown and blue. They don't really match the pants exactly, but they provide a slight contrast, which is quite dapper. If you take a closer look, you can see I don't have that shoulder flap, which this one has, which is supposed to prevent getting rain inside of your coat. There was a time when Burberry left out traditional hallmarks simply to be more in line with current fashion. They also offered the original one with a belt, with a chest flap, with a throat hooks. And if you want to learn more about all these features, please check out the trench coat guide where we discuss everything in detail. <laughs> Thank you.